Max Muncy at the plate. So we've seen a lot more sliders recently in this inning anyway. Cracked in the air to center field sends Johnson back he's still going he's at the wall it's gone. Max Muncy with a three run home run. Now Muncy with the bases loaded sends a fly ball to left center field way back there. Grand slam. Max Muncy's breakout game and it comes in San Francisco yet again. Two home runs and seven RBIs in this game alone. Fulmer deals. Peralta grabs one through. Tying run is in. Winning run comes home. The throw is late. Dodgers win. David Peralta, tonight's hero. And it feels like more important than your average walk-off win, doesn't it? It really does. Dropping below 500 compared to being one game over 500, walking it off at home and feeling this energy as a new unit. Clayton Kershaw with his ninth of the night. In a roar to end his evening. And there is Mookie Betts at shortstop. First game at short in the majors. It's a ground ball up the middle. Mookie at short will step on second. Jump throw to first. That's two. That's how you break into a position. Tie game, Wrigley Field, no early work. Have a baby, come to the park, pinch hit, get a hit, get your first ground ball, and make a 6-3 double play with a jump throw. So that's 6-3 double play. Altman puts a charge into one to right field. James Altman did low. Grand slam. Six two in the ninth. And with that, Michael Fulmer's night is done, but we're not yet at Wrigley Field. All of a sudden, a four run lead for LA. James Altman with a grand slam home run off Michael Fulmer. Oh my, he's too good to be true. Second home run of the night. He has knocked in five. Now they have a chance to still win this ball game. Max Muncy swings uh -oh. at the first pitch, unloads down the line. Grand slam. <laughs> Only needed one. He'll take them all. The finishing touches. The chef's kiss on a perfect homestand. Joe, you just can't count these guys out. And they care about each other. And that's the missing ingredients. And that's why they continue to be successful. Now the bases are loaded for James Outman, who has a grand slam this year. James Outman lifts a fly ball to center field. It sends Taylor back on the track at the wall. Great. Slam! Dodgers take a 7-3 lead. So one rookie ties it with a bases loaded walk. One pitch later, another rookie breaks the tie with a grand slam to straightaway center field. And the Dodgers find themselves one swing away from this being an entirely different ball game. On 0-1, Freeman lifts it in the air to center field. Newbar's going back. He's at the track. He's at the wall. And 300 is a grand slam. Freddie Freeman joins the 300 home run club in grand style and changes the game in the process. The Dodgers have scored five runs in the inning, and it's 9-7. to seven. The fifth player to hit number 300 in a Dodger uniform. All right, so Freddie Freeman, who's 0-4 for four in this game, hitless in this series, 0-10. for 10. Cracked in the air, center field. That is going to do it. Robert won't even move. It lands, and the game is over. Chris Taylor in to score. The Dodgers from down 4 0 to win 5 4. It's a big deal. 2,000 hits for sure. Freddie Freeman doing it at home and still in his prime, too. So a lot more to come, but these milestones mean a lot. Freddie Freeman hits this one to right. Fairly deep, and it's over the head of Tucker. Freddie Freeman, the second bet, scores, and welcome to the 2,000 hit club, Freddie Freeman. That ball will be kept forever. And Freeman able to do it in front of the home crowd with the second hit tonight and 2,000th of his career as he tips his cap to the Dodger fans. Martinez at 254, hit his 17th home run of the season, two run shot back in the third, now has 50 runs batted in. He swings and drives it deep to left field this ball is gone career homer number 300 for J.D. Martinez 
Oh, how do you like it? A two-homer night. Mookie Betts cranks one. Left field. Mookie won't stop mashing. That's leadoff home run number 10 this year. The most ever in a single season for a Dodger. High fly ball. Deep center field. Tim is back. It's got the top of the wall. It doesn't matter whether it's a home run or not. It's ball game. Game 100. A thrilling win in 10. Four times in the ninth inning to force extras and win it properly in the 10th. I'm How about I go back to as you take a look, it is a home run, clearing the wall. Kevin Kiermeyer making this super close. Looks like a dust day. After review, the call was confirmed. There was no home run. However, the winning run scored on the play. The game is over. Hey, hey, All right, so hey, James Altman is the hero either way. Now Hernandez with a fly ball to left. Soto's going to run out of room. Kike Hernandez is first back in Dodger blue. Have a look at Michael Bush. Swings at the first pitch and lifts it in the air to center field. Loriano back at the wall. Go! That's the first big league homer for Michael Bush, and it puts the Dodgers in front three to two. He came up from AAA and he was scorching hot. They got him right in there, and you know what? As soon as they had the next opportunity to get him in there, they got him in there here in the second game today, and it pays off. A raucous ovation here for Mookie Betts. Mookie said it could be nothing. It could be everything. Probably meant everything to hear that. Gets him with one of his best sliders of the night. Clayton Kershaw is able to finish five innings in this game. In position to get win 209. Betts hits a fly ball the other way that sends Acuna back. He's running out of room. He's gone! Off the top of the wall! Back and forth. These big dogs go. A three-run home run. There's a lot of hope in this fly ball, and Acuna Jr. doesn't stop his retreat. He has to leap and just misses it. One gets a granny, the other one gets a three-run job. Ground ball and through. Freddie Freeman, three for three. He's hustling for second. He's got it! Freddie Freeman legs out a record-breaking double. Get that baseball because it's the 53rd two bagger for Freddie Freeman, the most ever in a single season by a Dodger. Down the line, another base hit for Freddie Freeman into the corner, makes the turn. He's got another double. What a birthday for Freddie! Four hits, three runs scored, two runs knocked in. The chin is named. It's been a theme all year, but this is a 9-2 ball game. And he's still not giving away at-bats. One more out to get. Folks outside Los Angeles, we're talking about the Dodgers in 2023, staring at a year of transition. In a year that experienced so much change, one thing's the same. The NL West still runs through L.A. For the 10th time in 11 years, the Dodgers are National League West champions. Talk about a game for them to have to earn this thing. A game that started with Clayton Kershaw on the mound, struggled out the gate, walked the first batter, then figured out a way. Absolutely efficient, handed it off to Emmett Sheehan and the rest of the bullpen quieted this Mariners offense the entire game. The Dodgers bats figuring it out here in the 11th. Of course it would go to extras. The celebration can officially begin in Seattle. 11 consecutive postseason bursts. 10 time division winners in that span.